Howdy neighbor, how is your garden growing? Today in my garden, well, I'm going to be collecting wildflower seeds because it's getting cold and the flowers are going away. But that means there's seeds. Some I might've missed this window, but some are definitely, definitely hanging onto their seeds and it'd be a good time to collect them so I can try starting some of my own wildflowers so that I can have lots and lots more, not really for the winter time, but for the spring. So join me today if you'd like to hang out and let's go collect some wildflower seeds. Bye Shiloh. She wants to come out here so bad. <laughs> so here's one of the things. I need to collect the wildflowers because um, this wildflower garden has gotten quite insane and um, I need to do cleanup. But one of the things I'm worried about doing with the cleanup is that I'm gonna accidentally clean up something then realize I don't have the plant anymore and then not have the seeds and then I'm gonna have to go and buy it later which I don't mind buying because I love supporting my local nurseries, but oftentimes they don't get these plants until like March. And I can technically be planting them in like January, February, depending on the weather and get them going and, you know, save a little bit of money, but also really get the ones that I want right away. <laughs> so I want to do this. So the idea is like, I wrote it out in my little plan is I'm going to collect my wildflower seeds. Oh, I didn't put the next part, but then the next part is, okay. <laughs> Now it says clean up wildflower beds. So the idea was is get the seeds first. I had this in my head. I guess I didn't write it down yet. Um, is clean up the wildflower seeds. No, get the grab the wildflower seeds and then go clean up the beds so that I can start working towards. Well, and then we can start planning the future of this wildflower front section. So it's not so crazy. So it's like lovely and English cottage garden and so cute, but not like should we call the city on her looking crazy? You know what I'm saying? Okay, so let's go. We're gonna go perusing, looking to see what wildflower seeds we have. And then I'm gonna show you my process. Would love to hear the tips from y'all if you have experience. And let's go do that. So let's go check out what seeds we may think about grabbing. So this, this, yes, this is my wildflower garden right now. So here is the newer section. You can see, oh my gosh, do we not love these tropical sage, the pink flamingo, even with this very dreary or overcast day. They're just adding so much color, so pretty. And then here is our Minothera nivea, Melanthera, sorry, Melanthera nivea, the large type of our salt and pepper. And there I am pretty 90% sure let me think about this. I think this is a nettle, if I remember right. But you know what? It's looking a little... Wait, what is this? Let's go Let's go take these to the ID app. Thrown off, because these leaves are so luscious and large. It's actually saying it's a tropical sage. It could be a new pink sage, but the leaves look too big. They're, like, huge. I'll let it grow. Whenever I have a plant like this where I'm like, I think it's this, it's IDing as something... I don't, I'm not 100% sure. I will leave it until it starts to flower. Because as long as I can catch it when it's flowering, then I don't have to worry about seeds spreading, you know, if I don't want it. So we'll leave it. It just doesn't look quite right. Something looks off about it to me, but maybe you guys know. Here, I'll show you it again. So if you know what this is, and it's like bad, especially, please let me know. So it's saying this is the tropical sage, just like these, but you can see these are a lot smaller. And the leaf shape is different a little bit. I don't know. This is a question mark. It's saying red sage. But look at the pink one. We're going to definitely grab some seeds from this, even though it's going to reseed like crazy anyways. So we will definitely grab seeds from this. Up next is, I do want to grab, uh, here's that blue sage right here. Is this blue sage? Yeah, but I don't see any flower heads on it right now. But we'll... Yeah, so that's that blue sage. I want more of that, but I don't see any flower heads where I could get, you know, definitely not that, but it's that. So we'll, we'll have to poke around some more and see if we can see any blue sage. Those are our lantanas. Still smelling like bubble gum. Oh, wow, that's really cool. They're looking cute. They're doing their thing. They're even got a little bit of flowers here right now. I am not planning on propagating that, so nothing to do here. <laughs> This needs to be trimmed, but oh, here's that liatris. We got some seeds here. We're definitely gonna grab some liatris. This is liatris gracilis. So we'll grab some of this. And you guys might remember from the project a million years ago, here's orange comb flower. And we've got some seed heads right here. You can see what they look like. They look like those um, rutabecchias. Uh, the ones everybody uses, uh, Black Eyed Susans, but they're not. They're orange comb flower, so a little bit different. I don't know what the scientific name is, 
but they're that. So I'm gonna grab some of those. We have to grab some of that, right? Cause um, they're really cute. They actually did really well in all the shade. They just never got to like really take off because it was too shady over here. So if I can get more of those, we could like do some good things. So we need to grab some of those seed heads. Looks so sad. You might be like, Jacqueline, why? Why, why, what, what, why do you want the stick plant? But this is swamp milkweed. And you can see there are actually some seed heads in the wind here. And here's a pod that's open. I'm gonna be so careful not opening it or touching it right now because I don't want these to go away, but I want those because I can always have more swamp milkweed. Behind it, we need to grab some of this oryngium, right? The blue oryngium, AKA swamp, wait, no, marsh rattlesnake master. Here's a grass that needs to go. This is why we need to clean up the area. I wonder if this uh, beach verbena or be verbena tampa, does it have any seed heads? I wonder if it does, it's flowering. If it does, oh yeah, maybe. We'll see if we can snag something from this, maybe, hopefully, maybe. We'll see if there anything can come of that one. Over here, it looks like we got some pods that we could check out. This is our tropical sage. You can see the leaves are still alive down there. You can see, this is why. I'm gonna clean stuff up yet because I'm, I'm gonna prune stuff back and make it like not look like crazy person this year. But if I do that, I'm gonna lose all these seed heads. So I need to grab stuff. So you, so you can see why I'm trying not to be like a crazy person, but like it makes sense what I'm trying to do. So if we can find anything on that one, not that I want like a bunch more, but I just have a feeling like maybe as we kind of work through the plan, like maybe that won't be the best spot as we keep going, but maybe it will, I don't know. But you know, contingency plans are always good to have. So we got that. Okay, let's keep moving. Wanna go back, wanna go to the side? We'll go to the side. Oh my gosh, <laughs> the poncetta. Okay, well this is some weed that's taken over, but the poncetta, if you look here, all of this native Florida poncetta, it has spread like crazy. It's got a very cute wintry look, but it's just everywhere. This Simpson stopper has to go. This Everglades tomato needs to go. There is rouge plant and definitely tropical sage reseeding right there. So I don't need any of that. Porter weed has reseeded over here. That needs to be taken out. Who else? Who else? Oh, wait, let me be careful stepping here. I actually in here, I know there were rain lilies because I saw them the other day. Not the lily part, grassy leaf part. <laughs> I was like, oh, look, there you are. And now, oh, oh, this looks bad. Okay, so I've been waiting to see if these change color and it's gotten really cold out and look at how not cute this looks. But I do like this bluish color. I use these in a Thanksgiving arrangement, which I can put on the camera now. It was actually a really pretty arrangement. I use everything from fire bush back there, this, some of my sweet goldenrod, um, and then some of the tropical sage. I thought it was like a really cute fall festive way of doing stuff. So it's definitely worth having in your garden, but just like, it goes everywhere. It dies really fast though too. So I don't see it being a big issue to get it back out. Uh, Pineland heliotrope going crazy, filling in all the spaces. Melanthera nivea there, Melanthera nivea here. This is the short version. So you can see it's like way shorter, but lots of little cutesy wootsies. It definitely needs to be pruned back. This has to go, Ponsetta. I don't need any of that. Oh, but more Ringium over here. And these seed heads look really good. So I think we're gonna grab, I know we're gonna grab some of these. And if any of these seed in place, I'm totally cool. Oh, they are, they are trying to seed in place. So we will definitely get some of them because who doesn't want more of this in our life next year? We want more of that. Ugh, all that Bayadalba has to go so bad. Oh, but may, has anyone tried, seeding from mooly grass because I am thinking of a way to use mooly grass. I'm okay if I have to buy them, but it'd be cool if I could see if I can make some of these seed heads do a thing. Boo, by itself, but that's such a mess. Blue curls, I do not need to get more blue curls in my life. Who else? Oh, over here. Oh, wait, who's this? Oh, we can see if we can get any of this. This is this was Coreopsis Leavenworthy. I love Coreopsis Leavenworthy. If I could get some of that from seed, I'd be super happy. And I know it reseeded this year because it bounced around the yard. And here is actually Starry Ross and Weed. And I would love to start some more of that. So if I can get some of these seed heads too. And it appears we have some milkweed that has propagated itself. The question is, whose milkweed is this? Is this from my swamp milkweed? 
Or is it for Mr. Cliff's tropical milkweed? Hmm. I know there's a way to tell the difference. I have forgotten what it is. There's something with the leaves. I'm not sure. If you remember what it is, there's something with the leaf structure that you can look at it and tell the difference. And my concern is this might be tropical just because of its location. Because here this is, and Mr. Cliff has a ton of tropical milkweed right over there. So it's not that far-fetched for it to get over here. But whatever, we'll leave it for now until I can see. So it looks like it's got buds starting to happen. Interesting. Okay, uh, more poncetas. Holy moly, guacamole. They're everywhere. But yes, if we can get some of this Rawson weed, that'd be great. And then over here, oh, they never really took off. I think I just was bad. But look, we got seeds from that southeastern sunflower. So I'm gonna get the seeds for that. We're gonna grab that. We do not need any of this narrow leaf yellow top. It's everywhere, it's a mess. I'm cutting all this out. That's gonna go away. <laughs> You may wonder, you may say, Jacqueline, I've watched all your native projects. I never once heard you say you bought native poncetta. I didn't. It came with my climbing aster, one of them. Just one little plant was in that same pot and now it's everywhere. It's everywhere. If you get one, you have a bajillion. But the only thing is, is it's not doing like what it's supposed to do, like it does for everybody else, which is it's supposed to like actually get like the Mexican poncetas where it gets red. It's just the whole leaf doesn't change red, just part of the leaf does. And so it's never done that. They just get the rusty spots in my yard. So whatever, it's gonna go because it's just everywhere and it's making a mess. So we're not doing any more of that. But here we've got the, the end, the fading of the sweet golden rot and we've got tons of seeds here. I do not wanna keep this here. I have a pretty good idea of where it's gonna go. And we'll do that in the planning video, but we're gonna grab some of these seeds so we can try in a more contained way <laughs> start them. Though I will say with this plant, transplants plants pretty well. I found sweet golden rods in different locations in the yard and I shoved them where this is. So one of the one or two of these is like ones that I properly planted. They died back, they came back. And then a few of them, I think I put added two or three in here where literally I just pulled them from here and I was like not nice to them and I just shoved them in the ground. And so they are some of the flowering that's happened here. So we're definitely going to get some of that and just save it. Um, after we plan, what I'm actually gonna do is with where I think this is gonna end up going, sneak preview, I think it's gonna end up going in this circle hedge, is that I'm gonna take a lot of this and just cut it back and then like just throw it in the middle here so that it just does its thing. So that's one thing. Oh, and okay, oh, but here's another one we need to save. Right here, this is our native bee balm. So if you guys have seen this on the channel before, so it looks more like this and then it turns into this. It doesn't usually have this red. That's just because we are getting cold out. But then here are some of the seed pods. My worry is, is that we've had tons of rain. So we might have mold issues with some of this stuff. That's why I want to pretty quickly try to start seeds in a covered area. Also feedback from my native gardening friends is that you know, the rate of being able to, the, the germination rate on a lot of native wildflowers that are collected are not great. So it might not work, but you know what? We're just gonna take a little time and then we'll see what we see, right? So all we're gonna lose is some time and maybe some effort, but not, not too bad. So I think we've got a pretty good list. I'm trying to look around and see if there's anybody else I want us to, I see lots of things I need to do, but from a grabbing seeds, I think we've got kind of the main things. <laughs> Part of me is like rouge plant, but when I tear up some of this rouge plant where I don't want it, I'm just gonna chuck it because it, it recedes so easily. It's like ridiculous. It's, it's, it's ridiculous how much it recedes. Same thing with blue curls. Blue curls are all over the place. Look at them. They're so pretty. And I think because it's such an overcast day, usually they've curled back up. They kind of do this. Whoop. Let's see if you can see them. There you go. They do that. They kind of curl back up as the day goes. But I think because it's sun's just like nowhere is a day. <laughs> Yay, winter. So, yes. Okay, so let's go grab our stuff. I'm going to explain to you how I'm going to do it. You can give me your feedback. We're sharing. We're growing together. I haven't done this before. Mostly what I've done with wildflowers is just snatch them and then just been like, ta, go, be free in areas and that has generally worked. So I'm not saying this is gonna work. I'm not saying it's gonna work, not work. So we're gonna we're gonna just try this together and we're gonna see how it goes. 
Let me grab my, my handy dandy stuff. So here's my process. It's very complicated. It's gonna be very scientific. It's very, um, I'm gonna take paper towels. So here's the thaw process. We've had a lot of rain. Sprinklers have run. They've hit these things. So I need to make sure that when I store these, they do not maintain moisture on them. So as we collect them, I'm gonna put them in here. I then have my handy dandy marker. Link in the description. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so that I can just write on here like, you know, uh, what, what was one of the plants? <laughs> Starry Rossum weed or whatever. And then therefore we can have the seeds in there. And then I have the ever so complicated to use for seeds. I got my handy dandy Ziploc. And the reason is just so they don't fall over the place because my intent is not to store these for very long. It's only for a very short amount of time. And then very soon, like maybe the next video, no, not the next video. Cause the video after this, we got plan what we're gonna do. We gotta, gotta make a game plan. We gotta clean up. So that stuff's gonna happen in between, but then very quickly within like a week or two of us collecting them, they are going right back into soil. So that's the thought process. And the other thought process is that regardless if I screw this up completely, if I have to go buy more, it's fine. But we can maybe learn something along the way. And isn't it the journey that really is the thing that we should value? Or something like that. I feel like there's something poetic to be said, but whatever. Let's go, let's go take some stuff and put it in some paper towels. Yay! Here we are. First up, it's going to be our southeast sunflower. These are supposed to receive like crazy, is what Leah said. So yay. Because I was a bad plant owner and I took too long and blah, blah, blah. You know, we can get a bunch of these. This is a lot already. i do one more. <laughs> and I'll take one from over here. Ah, there we go. Now we've got, there's still seeds for birds to eat. There's still seeds for falling on the ground. It would have made more sense probably for me to have written this on this side so that when I fold it up, don't judge me too harshly. <laughs> Like I said, this is my first time. <laughs> I have saved seeds from veggies before, um, but not so much from wildflowers. Oh, <gasps> no, <laughs> I grabbed it. <laughs> is most of it in there? Most of it's in there. Okay, 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 okay. We're okay. It's okay. Everything is okay. I'm folding it like backwards <laughs> so that I can still see the name. And then what I'm doing is, that doesn't make any sense. Ugh. I really wish I would have flipped this around, but whatever, we're gonna go with it, we're gonna go with it. And I'm gonna go like this, and I'm just gonna do, 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 make a nice little pocket of stuff. All right, I'm gonna shove this in my little handy dandy Ziploc bag. The fun part is that if some of these seeds get loose in here, right, and then they intermix, it can be like, oh, which one are you getting? Now I don't have one Ziploc bag per plant. I just, I'm gonna shove multiple in here. Now the plants have had some time to dry out. You can see these are rather crispy. So feel free to grow in here. Just letting you know seeds. So they shouldn't have too much moisture on them. Oh my gosh. I'd already thrown some goldenrod seeds down in here and they are all over my shoes. We're gonna have goldenrods everywhere. It's gonna be like, it's gonna be like yellow top 2.0. We're gonna like that thing is it's from the front to the back to all the sides of the house. Uh, oh! I see something I said I definitely need to grab. That's purple cone flower. Let's go grab that now before I forget about it again. It had fallen over. And here is our purple cone flower. So we will get these seeds. And this is the one that a lot of you guys were like, oh my gosh, it's so tall. And indeed they were. I don't know what was like so special about it, but they definitely were really tall. And I agree. There's even one still actually flowering right now. I'm sure it's gonna die with the next like cold snap that we have. Okay, purple coneflower. I know, none of us are gonna read these later. You know, uh, if you guys have good, I'm sure there's gotta be something out there that's like really good for saving seeds in. If you have something, feel free to link it. Holler at me if YouTube doesn't let you link it, email it to me. <laughs> Cause I am a learning, growing kind of person too. There, that coneflower looks so good. You wanna see it? I'll show you. It's so cute, but it's not ready for the seeds to come off of it yet, so we won't take it. But that's exciting, right? Look at that, guys. Do you see it? Hanging out in the cold. Maybe 
living, maybe thriving, maybe surviving. I won't disturb it. But look at that hanging out. That looks like it's on the Biden's Alba. This is why native plants are so important. Even when it's really cold out, below 60 degrees, they're just doing their thing. Okay, we'll leave you alone, butterfly. Next up is starry rosin weed. That is not ready to get seeds, nor is this. Ah, but there we go, this one. We got some seeds in here. Looks like we might. And actually, this head right here. Bam. Looks like we got some seed heads. All right, so let's put these in here. I'm gonna take the petals out. So those are just gonna become like kind of mush anyways. Let's see, can we find some of the seeds? Yep, I see some seeds in here. So we're gonna save you. I don't know, I should probably go like this. Ross and Weave. Got Marsh Rattlesnake Master. Let's see what this, oh, it's very pokey. It's very pokey. So we got, wow, ow. That is very pokey on parts of it. What parts the seed? Hmm. Oh, blinging some of myself. Are those seeds that small? Oh, they might be very, very small. Well. Oh wow. Oh no. Oh wait. I might have been stuck by a bug instead. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, um, I'm sorry, bug. Oh. There's like a little bee. Oh, they might have been sleeping in there. I am so sorry. Oh, it's okay. How about you go over on this one? I, I see another one. They're hiding in here. Come look. See, it's one of our native. I'm sure it's like a bee. And then look right here. Let's see if I can get it for you guys. See, there's another one hanging out right in there. Oh, I need to be really careful. This is the thing. Can you guys see it? Wait, oh, wait, there it is. Can you see it? It's right there. Oh, and even right here, there's like two more. Can you guys see them? Yeah, they're like all chilling out because it's so cold out. Oh my bad, little guys. This is really the hard part about cleaning up stuff with native plants is because like the wildlife really is using it as shelter at this time of year. I mean, other times of year too, but it's just like, they're hanging on, they're stressed out. And here I am, I just got poked. Oh, maybe it stunned me. I don't know, or maybe I just got poked by something. That's possible too. It's a very, like I said, it's kind of pokey plant. So now I need to check a little bit more carefully with some of these plants because we can see some of our pollinators, like it's cold out. They're trying to chill, <laughs> they're trying to chill out. <laughs> but they are trying to chill out. So we'll be more careful. I'm sorry, bees. They try to do lots of good things for you guys. Please don't be mad. <laughs> here too, you see another guy hanging out, resting here. This is what I'm talking about. Below 60 degrees, a lot of bugs just, they can't handle it. So they just go here. And then you can see, let's see if I can move this without disturbing them too much, but give them a little bit of light. There you go, you can see there's a couple guys right here. Ah, can you see them? Oh, there they are. Camera work me. I put the other guy back on here, so we'll, we'll leave them alone. All right, we're gonna make an attempt. Ah, I'm gonna fall over. I'm like trying to balance between so many plants right now. I just like to point that out. So if I come and I take a little tumble, don't laugh too hard. I mean, you're allowed to laugh, but just not too hard. I am trying to extract some of these seed pod heads. My concern is they have gone for so long. I don't know if they've like completely rotted or if those are actually viable seeds. Did I put, where did I put my one that I wrote on? So hopefully something can be made of this. Oh, I wish I could back you guys up. There's like no room in here. <laughs> this is the problem with crowding everything together. It looks like there's more stuff in here. Can I grab some of these? I'm just worried they're gonna be like all fungusy. You know what, maybe that's okay. Anything? Now, Coryopsis Leavenworthy is actually one of the easier ones to get from like the nursery. So I'm not terribly worried, though it's like one of my favorites. So I would like to get some, but versus like Rattlesnake Master and the Sunflowers and of course, Purple Cone Flowers, always really hard to get. So, oh my gosh, they're going all over the place. Stop it. Oh, my shins. <laughs> okay, let's 
wrap this up and let's see what else we can grab because we only have a few more we only got a few more paper towels so that means that we're coming to the end so with what limited napkins i have left i'm gonna grab swamp milkweed i'm gonna grab tropical sage and i'm gonna grab orange cone flower because i think that was pretty much it other than the um which was a scarlet hibiscus i don't foresee myself starting any more scarlet hibiscus this year so let's grab mr mrs swamp milkweed oh my gosh look at all the milkweed bugs on this thing you know? They're all hiding in there. Guys. Okay. Let's see if we can grab this one. Oh, here we go. Here we go, right here. Let's take this one right here. See, see how the pod opens up and inside is the silk. And then inside of that, see the silk here? It gets grabbed by the wind. And then here, these little flat, flaky parts, that's that's your seeds and there's still some in the pod. So I'm holding the pod very tightly. I'm, I would show it to you on the paper towel, except I know with this very gentle and light breeze that I can feel in my hair, uh, they're gonna go blowing away. So I will not show them to you. I will hold them very tightly in this paper towel. <laughs> oh, bug. And then they will go right in here. Oh my gosh, no way. I'm gonna let go of these ones. <laughs> Cause I think this is one of my last, I mean, we still have some here. You can see, oh, see, now they're going on the street. No, go in this area. Go, go get on the ground in here. My neighbor's going to end up with them and he's going to spray with pesticide, I'm very sure. Oh, uh, because I know some other stuff. Oh, he got Coryopsis Leavenworthy from me and he... Mr. Cliff, on the other hand, would be super excited. He loves, love, 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 loves getting seeds from my plants. So, yeah. What do we got here? Oh, what do they see? This is like, these have been exposed to a lot of water. We'll just chuck them on the ground. Maybe as I disturb stuff when we're pulling things and clipping things back, maybe it'll get seeded in there. I'm not gonna count on it though. And then if we need to fill in with some stuff from this, you know, our native nurseries, I have no, no problem with it. But one of the things I would like to have more of what next year that I feel like was really cool we were able to do is making little bouquets for my wildflowers but I, I need to have more abundance and I have to have it more organized than I did this year because this was like a hot little mess plus they need to all have more sun that's that's a definite need that they all have so yeah yeah because look at these aren't these cute I really had fun I know the one has like it's got goldenrod and it's got the native firebush and then those neon orangey ones those are not a native plant those are cleodendron glory bower but i think it was like a really cute combo it was very florida one year i took a bunch of not native wildflowers but i took a bunch of uh calamondins which look like tiny oranges and i filled up a whole vase with them for also for thanksgiving it's a good time of year to like take stuff from your yard and be like look at it isn't it cute now let's get one of the things that actually it bloomed and it bloomed and now it's, it keeps blooming on the table even like about a week after the fact was the tropical sage. It made a mess also, but it looked really cute. <laughs> no, I don't technically, it's gonna reseed so much, but I do wanna have like a little bit more control <laughs> over where it's gonna end up. Cause it's so pretty. And I do feel like when I kind of like create the clear borders, I would like to have um, a bunch of the pink ones in there cause I'd like the pink so much. It's so pretty. It's just like, it's so Florida but it's so romantic. I don't know. What's your guys' favorites, wildflowers? Cause for me, like I'm really, I like this one. It's pretty substantial. I think what Sweet Bay, where I got it from, they did a really good job is it looks like they've like cut it back. Cause I, I think they can get really leggy looking at times. Um, my red ones in the back have always looked kind of leggy. So I'm all for just like maybe uh, in a little while giving them a pretty hard chop and letting them come back nice and full because that would be a nice thing to do but do they have seeds in them because they kind of open up they kind of are like these little trumpets and then they have the seeds in them i know that oh come back here oh come back here so the question is do they still have seeds in them or have they already dropped them all out Looks like these all might have dropped already. Hmm, what to do? Let's 
see like that's put out its flower. So this will soon have a seed coming out of it. So what if I just pull, I don't know, has it like finished germinating? Has it done what it needs to do? Let's see if I can kind of follow it down because what happens is they pop open. So like here's one pop open and then they have seeds and they have like a bajillion seeds and they're really good at reseeding but the question is can I capture any of these seeds see like all this these are coming out so let me see they go top down with releasing their seeds or are they bottoms up this one's green still so let's see, can I see if there's any seeds in here? I feel like there's something flung in my eye. It's probably like a seed flung in my eye. Oh no, this has seeds in it for sure. The semi-green. Okay, so we're gonna grab some semi-green ones really quick. We'll use these and they'll dry in the napkin, hopefully. Christmas shopping and deliveries. Beep, beep. Foldy, 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 foldy. All right, and then let's grab that orange cone flower. This one, this one was really cute when it got some sunlight earlier this year. And it, honestly, I didn't realize it was still alive. I'm just like grabbing this. I should be careful, right? Because what if Mr. B or Mrs. B are in here again? These are so cool. But the fact that they're still blooming this late in the year is kind of crazy. <laughs> it's like pretty really late. And I don't think they're normally supposed to, but Maybe because they were shaded out and it finally got sun, it did a thing. thing. So I'm gonna grab as many flowers. I really hope these are viable seeds. I really do. I got them everywhere now. Woohoo. And I know these are food for birds, so, you know, we need to leave some for the birds this winter. Oops, there we go. So now I've got 10 different varieties of seeds. Let's go mark that down on our handy dandy planner because you know me, I'm going to forget all about what I grabbed and when I grabbed it. Because this is how I work. <laughs> you're actually, I know, you're going to see the date on when I'm writing this on. You're going to be like, Jacqueline, that's not the date this video's coming. I know. Sometimes I have to shoot way in advance. And also, like, the cold snap was here, our first wave of cold snap. So if you're thinking, because I think we have like one cold snap and then another cold snap and then maybe another one coming over the next couple weeks. So by the time this one came out, this video came out, you're probably like, oh, there's been a couple, how were there butterflies? This is why, it's because we're really right here in time, okay? That's just between you and me because you made it to the end of the video. <laughs> That's where we're really at in time. So uh, yeah, yeah, it's cold out. It's um, 56 right now here, which I'm proud of myself. Look at me. <laughs> I mean, I have a, a tank top, then a flannel, then a, a really heavy jacket that my mother-in-law got me. So. Yay, but I mean, I feel like normally I would have way more layers on because I'm a big wuss when it comes to cold and I own that. I put a little note here, wildflower seed harvest. And then I got 10 types of flowers. So I'm just gonna note for myself. I'll um, speed this up for you. Okay, so I only wrote down eight because apparently I only brought out eight paper towels. Um, so, the two I still need to grab is I'm gonna make a note for myself is I need to grab sweet goldenrod still and um, the dotted horseman. I still need to get those. This is why you make lists ahead of time so that you don't forget after, as you're in the middle of everything. Ah. Wow, a lot of seeds. Okie dokie artichokey. <laughs> Putting that in my pocket. Let's go grab the word horse mint. Let's call it sweet G. And we're just gonna like, literally, I'm just taking this, I'm wrapping it around because they just like to float off and I'm just going like, just like, here we go. And you might think there's so many left. Who cares? There's so many already here. Ah, too many running away them to stay in here <laughs> come on all right and then we need uh where's the one for daughter horseman okay let's grab daughter horseman and i think that's all we need i do not know if this all fell out already let's see is this gonna be like the tropical sage all right that's probably there's probably something in there right 
get back in there. Hi, bird. Is it cold? Say hi to your mom for me. Staying away from you. You do your thing. I'm gonna do my thing. But over here. Okay, lies. I told you I wasn't gonna take you long, but I did. I went and got them, and now I have it all listed here on my cold snap day. I should put that this is a day that I got in the 50s. I like taking like a color highlighter lighter and then like having bright blue around it so that I know. And then in reverse, I'll do bright red when it's really, really hot out. <laughs> so that's it. We got, we got our task done for the day. We saved our wildflower seeds. And now that puts us in a good place because we know exactly what inventory we have as we go to plan out these spaces in the future. But it also makes my, because now I can clean up the area and not worry about losing any of the seeds that are a little bit harder to get those plants. And long story short, if I screw up starting seeds or saving seeds or any of that stuff, it's not a big deal because all my native nurseries are so good. It's just, we're heading into the season where they don't carry a lot of stock right now, especially flowering plants because none of this is gonna flower and it may not even survive through the winter. So why not have some fun ourselves? Okay, so let's head inside because it's super cold. And if you wanna pick up the planner, it's right there for 2024s. And if you were thinking wildflowers, yours look crazy, but maybe they don't have to be. And you were thinking to yourself, maybe I want to get into native plants. Check out this video about 10 beginner plants, native ones for you to start. Okay. I'll see you soon. Bye.